Welcome to the Jamie Chadwell Show, sponsored by Hendrick Toyota. Kevin O'Rourke alongside the head coach of the Bucks as CSU gets set for one of the bigger games in the program's history this Saturday. CSU at 9-1 will host undefeated Coastal Carolina with first place in the Big South on the line. The Bucks put themselves in position to make that one a meaningful game with a 27-16 win over Presbyterian last Saturday. And another big effort from Christian Reyes, a couple of timely turnovers from your defense, enough to do the job again. Yeah, it was. It was a, it was a hard-fought game. Um, it was uh, you know really windy up there. I thought the weather played some havoc with both teams, but uh, we found a way there. Uh, third quarter and, and scoring some points, and then really in the fourth quarter defense shutting those guys out and getting us a big turnover. And uh, uh, we found a way to get it done. It wasn't pretty sometimes, especially with some penalties. But uh, we were able to, you know, get a get a big win and put ourselves in position for this week. You mentioned putting yourselves in position for this week. Did you think your team was able to focus on Presbyterian, and not look ahead at all to this week? Uh, you know, I think what they did for the uh, for the most part, you know, kids are going to. I mean, uh, you know, uh, as much as I said, we talked about PCPC. Everybody else is telling them about coastal, coastal, and so there's probably a little bit of that. Uh, you know, we didn't play as well as we'd wanted, but I think PC was part of that because they played really well and. Um, but fortunately for us, whatever it might have been, us not playing as well or looking ahead, we were able to still find a way. And uh, now that we're here, we got to make sure we you know, try to take care of our business. Big second half from Christian Reyes goes over 100 yards, over 1,000 for the season. Pretty nice to be able to hand the ball off to number 20. Yeah, it was. We, you know, we struggled there in the first half uh, a lot. Really, a lot of it was just shooting ourselves in the foot. We had, you know, had some good field position and had some penalties and some things that just really killed us and then we came out there in the second half and got him going had a big third down run that was big and then uh, anytime you can rush for you know over 100 yards it's huge and him to be able to do it in the second half alone really set the tone for our, our team going forward there in the second half take a look at some first half highlights as charleston southern made the trip up to clinton south carolina last saturday bucks able to get their big south record sixth road win of the season you guys get the opening kickoff and some penalties and mistakes hurt you early. It did. You know, we uh, we felt like we put ourselves uh, in you know good position. We try a home run on the first play, uh, and uh, you know it doesn't work out. But we get ourselves in the third down. Kevin makes a nice Danny and Kevin make a nice connection. We're at the 35 yard line, trying to make some things happen, and um, and put ourselves in another situation where we feel like we have a chance to make some plays. Penalties kill us, you know, and we have to end up punting when you get look like you got a good start. And uh, that was the theme of the whole first half. You had a couple of false starts, a couple of delay of games. Do you think that part of that comes from having two freshman quarterbacks? I think part of it is. I think you know one of them was probably on me, not getting it in as quick as I could. Uh, and I think what, what's different sometimes is the different referees or crews that you get. Some of them put the ball down faster than others, and you have to get used to how they do it. Uh, and that crew did a good job of getting the ball down. And uh, I think Danny was a little slow to get acclimated to it starting on, and that was part of it. Defense did a good job to keep you in the game here early, so I'll trade to Loach for the sack right there. They did, especially you know with the way the win was. Uh, and PC was smart; they kicked off and put us back with the win. And uh, you know they pinned us down on our sides. So the field position the first quarter uh, was heavily in their favor. And so you're trying as an offense, obviously you're always trying to score, but you're trying to put yourself into position to uh, at least move the field a little bit. And for us, we get something going to get a penalty, uh, get something going to get a penalty, or not execute and uh, had a chance to make a big play there, but they, they make a good play on us, and now they get the ball there at the 45-yard line, great field position, and, uh, and they make a nice completion here and get down in the red zone after a couple passes. So we're, you know, our backs are against the wall early. Presbyterian freshman quarterback Hayes McMathew saw him hook up with Toby Antigua. Defense again bends but doesn't break. Steven Doerr's going to hit a 34-yard field goal coming up here to give PC a 3-0 lead. Just kind of handing in the game in the first quarter. We did. You know, we uh, a lot of it was what they did. They came out with the great energy to, you know, prove something against us. And we had the penalties early. Holding the field goal was big. They got the lead, got a little confidence. Uh, I thought what was important for us, we needed to come out and get a first down. We had a plan of what we wanted to do. Uh, put ourselves in a decent field position to take a shot at some things. And we're able to get that first down right off the bat, uh, get right up to midfield. And then uh, we do a little play action pass, and, and Larry makes a great catch. Danny makes a nice throw. And so all the momentum they had, we took it right back, which was big. And we needed to respond to them. And uh, Larry did a great job there, him and Danny. We had a little mix up in the backfield, but fortunately uh, we were able to overcome it. And uh, Larry's doing a good job of catching those balls with one hand. I hope he starts using two or you're not going to see much more of that. And so, but uh, nice throw and catch there for, the, for a touchdown, and we're up, you know, 7-3. to three. The one hand maybe wasn't completely necessary there? Or? No, it wasn't. And so, uh, and uh, we'll, hopefully we got that corrected this week. Bucks up 7-3 to three here late in the first quarter. You see them swarming to the football. Uh, defense, again, did a good job of making the opponent one-dimensional. They barely averaged over two yards a carry. It did. If, uh, and our defense has done a great job of that all, all week or all year long. 
uh, of holding them to holding the Russian down, and we tried to get ourselves in position where we can force them to throw. And they did a good job. You see here, we got good field position. We get a first down. We're on the plus 50. Uh, we feel like, hey, now you know we got some, got some things going, and uh, we go back trying to uh, you know try to pound a little bit and, and make something happen, and put ourselves in a situation. Now we get a great run, and we're inside the 40 yard line. You know here, and you feel like, hey, we're rolling, ready to go, and we got a great play call on. They do a little blitz. And we got a chance to really get a big play. Uh, we, don't, we don't execute. Fortunately for us, uh, Michael Holloway gets on the ball, gets a chance at a recovery, put herself in a position. We, we think to get the first down back, we're just off on a throw. And you, you sit there and you look at it, we've got great field position. We have to end up you know, punting because of our own mistakes. Fortunately for us, we get them pinned back, and you're hoping we, now they're against that wind. And we got a chance to get the ball back in good field position. Buck's still up 7-3 to three here in the second quarter. Uh, defense, again, did, did a good job in second half. They got the passing game going a little bit, but came up with those timely plays once again. They did. You know, right here they're driving. Uh, we need to get a stop on a third and one. We do, uh, which was big. They end up punting back to us, so we got a chance. We want to, you know, try to go back to work and, and make something happen. We get a good drive going again, and uh, we make a mistake here. Uh, we Fortunately, Kyle doesn't make another one. He throws it out. He puts himself in a situation where we can try to keep it going and have a chance at a big play here. They just they get us here on, on, a, on a, uh, a nice job by their defensive end. We're in a third and six, same thing. We got another play we feel like is going to be a first down and uh, uh, not a good uh, execution on our, our option phase from our, our running back and our quarterback. It happened two straight times where we felt like we were really driving and uh, not taking anything away from them, but felt like, man, this is, uh, we got to make it, execute it. And maybe we're up 21 to three, but we don't put our defense back out there. They did a great play on third and long third and 12 and they run the quarterback and uh, you know continue a drive and they're getting a little confidence we gotta we gotta try to get the ball back here um, you know from our defense finally get a stop we get it back we end up going three and out which it was disappointing it was almost a two minute drill we were trying to you know get the ball down there in, in a situation uh, and they make a nice hit here on Kevin and, and uh, force us to punt and this was probably our best offensive uh, series here the, besides the touchdown you know the guy tries to catch it Elijah Lee does a great job of hitting him Christian Reyes, uh, you know, covered the fumble, which was big. And now you get put yourself in a chance to score. Bucks get the break just before halftime. Didn't turn over, forced three turnovers, two on defense. And then you go to the ground here with Zach Frazier. We did, yeah. We wanted to, uh, you know, quit probably trying to be cute and doing some things. And uh, we started doing that. Danny there showing a little athleticism, jumping over that guy, if you want to call it athleticism. <laughs> and uh, you, know, we, you know, we put the ball up there. Zach's running really hard. And uh, we, we get down there on a third and goal. You know, I'm, I'm glad we scored because you have to make a decision there as a coach. You know, you, you kick the points or you go for it on fourth down. And for us to be able to pound it in there, get great movement. Didn't play that well first half, but you're up 14 to three. Uh, you know, you'll take that coming out thinking like, hey, we've got it figured out. Now we'll come out and play well the second half and put ourselves in a good position. Zach Frazier takes it in from a yard out, his third touchdown of the year. And you guys have had that a few times. How big is that to get a score right before halftime? Well, I think it's, I think it's, it's one, big for momentum going in, but two, just to really settle yourself down because you, you go back and watch that and you look, you, you had the ball in good field position and you, it cost yourself of your errors. And so you're frustrated. You're going, you're looking up going, it's a 7-3 ball game and you feel like you should you know, be up more to get that, to give you that two touchdown or at least two score lead. Uh, you know, all right, we got some breathing room now. Let's go out and execute. We'll be fine. So CSU up 14-3 at halftime against Presbyterian. We're able to finish the deal in what was a back and forth second half. We'll take a look at some highlights of that. After this, you're watching the Jamie Chabwell Show, sponsored by Hendrick Toyota. Generously appointed. Jaw-dropping value. Limited number available. Discover it at Hendrick Toyota of North Charleston. Introducing the Hendrick Limited Edition Toyota Camry. Leather, custom alloy wheels, powerful and efficient. 35 MPGs, automatic transmission, 10 airbags, display audio with six speakers, and all for $19,990. Plus, double up with four years maintenance and receive Hendrick's nationwide lifetime warranty included. The Hendrick Limited Edition Toyota Camry. Race into Hendrick Toyota of North Charleston. Welcome back to the Jamie Chabwell show sponsored by Hendrick Toyota. Kevin O'Rourke alongside the head coach of the Bucks as we take a look at some second half highlights of the Bucks 27-16 win over Presbyterian this past Saturday able to improve to 9-1 and one, and PC able to get a drive going at a halftime locker room. Yeah they did. I, I, you know our defense didn't come out with the same type of uh, intensity uh, and focus as we did you know start off the game. I think we relaxed a little bit uh, and they just drove right down the field so uh, you feel like you got the win you don't want to take advantage of it and they come out and make you know good play to make it 14 to 10. So those points we scored right at halftime really didn't matter. 
and it was important for us to answer. We needed to answer quickly, and we get ourselves in a situation where, uh, you know, we're moving the ball, we get into plus territory, we feel like we got a good plan, and uh, we're trying to make some, you know, to answer it, at least hold the football, make them do some things. Uh, we get ourselves in a bad situation on a third and long. Fortunately, we were able to run a trap play right up the middle, and Christian gets the first down, which was a huge play. And then the very next one, you know, he breaks one here for about 40-something yards, and we've answered that right back. They, they punched us. We punched them right back, which was good. We get that lead. Great blocking up front. Christian makes a nice cut. And then you see him outrun some people, which was good, you know, and so uh, it was a great for him to get that touchdown, get us that 11-point lead. Now hopefully our defense is uh, back out there and going to make some plays for us. 37-yard TD for Christian, his seventh of the year. Only had four carries in the first half, but you guys really rode him in the second. We did. You know, we tried to do some things a little bit different there in the second half. And, and, and to be truthful, Christian, tell you, he wasn't playing as well as he needed to in the first half. That's why you saw Zach. And, uh, but Christian, uh, Coach Isaac and, and Christian, you know, got, got together there at halftime, and he came out uh, making some plays there in the second. Here was just a, you know, a great play by them, really bad play by us. We got two guys back there. They're able to catch the football on us something that we were disappointed in. Uh, and so now they score again. They're right back at it. They're feeling good about it. We've got to go answer them again. And uh, so we need to get a drive going, move the ball. Uh, we've not really had a chance to take, care, take advantage of the weather because they've, they've scored twice. So we're, we're going methodically like we normally do. Danny making some plays for us and put ourselves in some short yardage, which we feel good about being in short yardage. We feel like we can make some things happen. And um, we get down where we're inside the 30-yard line, have a chance to make a play. Just don't do it. We miss a uh, miss a pass here on third down where we have a chance to complete it. Uh, fortunately, Mark Deboy comes in and really struggled last week and makes a huge kick there to put us back up eight, which is uh, which is big. So we answered their score, obviously like a touchdown. Now you want your defense to go out and try to start making some plays. 35-yard field goal for Mark Deboy puts the Bucks up 24-16, and, and certainly you want more consistency in your kicking game, especially in some of these tough games coming up. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you need something that you know is reliable, and for Mark to do that in that type of game, which was a big game, obviously, and where we're at, it was huge for him and I think his confidence. So it's good for us going forward. They get a great play. We miss a couple tackles. They're inside the 20 again to answer. Uh, their quarterback makes a little uh, mistake on a, a route here. And DJ Curl, freshman wide receiver, makes a or freshman defensive back, makes a great play and uh, gets us the ball back. Really key play in the game because they look like they're going to score again. We hadn't stopped them yet. We get that turnover, uh, sort of takes their momentum. And now we have a chance to go back and milk it a little bit, put ourselves in a good situation, and then we, uh, you know, look like uh, the circus is in town here on third down and uh, end up having to punt. So Bucks still with an eight point lead here, PC handing in, able to. Make some plays was their freshman quarterback, Hayes McMath. A couple of mistakes, but you saw that they have some pretty talented receivers they, as well. They do. 84 uh, was a great player. We made him look really good there. We missed tackling him about 10 times. And they put themselves in a good position. They, get, they move the ball, but we get them at third and long, which was big. And we're able to flush him, and uh, we get the ball back. They back us up. You know, we're, we're backed up inside the 20, so we know we need to go out and go to work and try to, one, milk the clock, but really move it, you know, and, and try to put ourselves in a position to score. And, um, and hopefully we're doing that. We try to, uh, you know, do some things, get Christian going again up the middle, and put ourselves in a situation where we can make something happen. We get in the third and long, it doesn't happen, so we have to punt back to him. Presbyterian gets the football back here, and you're going to see the second turnover of this second half coming up for the Bucks. You get some pressure from Dylan Black, who's had a huge season. Trey Deloach gets the interception. Yeah, well, big play. You know, the difference in the football game, if you look at it, was the three turnovers, uh, one on the special teams, and two, you know, by our defense, and we were able to convert those into ten points. Uh, they didn't get any. Here you see us uh, rushing the quarterback. We get a hand on him. I think that was Demarius Freeman got a hand on him. Trey DeLoach goes up there and, and high points it, which you love to see. Gets us the football, and we know uh, you can see the blitz right here. They do a great job. And Demarius gets his hand on the quarterback right there, and it makes that ball flutter and, and huge play. And we're able to get that, get points off of it. Uh, thankfully for being on TV, or we wouldn't have got that call reviewed. And uh, to be able to get points and end the game was big. At the Loach interception, sets up another Mark Boy field goal, 27-16, your final. And Demaris Freeman, you're right, had the pressure there, and he's really had a great year for you guys. He has. He's done, done really well. He's been sort of our captain back there, especially uh, after Corbin went down about four weeks ago. Uh, he's really stepped up his game plan, but really just communication and has been big. And, and we've been there in the third quarter. They, you know, they were coming after us. We got that pick there in the end zone and really shut them down there in the second half. And for us to get points off of it was big. And uh, 
Uh, it was ugly, but it allowed us to get to this point right now, which was what our goal was. So the Bucks now 9-1, 2-0 in Big South Conference play. They host undefeated Coastal Carolina, first place in the conference on the line. And we'll talk about that after this. You're watching the Jamie Chadwell Show, sponsored by Hendrick Toyota. Generously appointed, jaw-dropping value, limited number available. Discover it at Hendrick Toyota of North Charleston. Introducing the Hendrick Limited Edition Toyota Camry. Leather, custom alloy wheels, powerful and efficient, 35 MPGs, automatic transmission, 10 airbags, display audio with six speakers, and all for $19,990. Plus, double up with four years maintenance and receive Hendrick's nationwide lifetime warranty included. The Hendrick Limited Edition Toyota Camry. Race into Hendrick Toyota of North Charleston scored obviously to, to make it a close game a couple of times and you guys answered back both times kind of been trademark for this team I guess yeah uh, you know we're very good at uh, with adversity and um, answering back when uh, we get scored on or uh, you know doing uh, coming out and scoring at half or this time uh, they received the ball first we got to stop and we're able to uh, get a drive going and score on that so it was good to start the second half you get over a thousand on a touchdown runs pretty nice way to way to do that <laughs> yeah uh, I mean it means uh, a lot, um, only because up front, what they're able to do this game. I really didn't do much, anything spectacular. I mean, uh, the holes are there. I was, I was hitting them, and that's how that touchdown run. I mean, no one touched me, but just because uh, the old line up front really was able to push people around. How about the way Michael has run the ball for you the last couple of weeks? Oh, yeah, he, uh, he definitely gets to the edge and uh, uses his speed a lot. So um, it definitely uh, adds to our uh, arsenal and uh, how we're able to attack on offense. So, Obviously, you guys were focused on this one, but now you get to go back home and you get to play Coastal top five in the country. You guys are pretty excited for that, I guess? Yeah, we're definitely excited to you know, show the country and uh, FCS basically what we're about and show them that uh, you know, we're not always the underdog every week or uh, doubted, I guess, every week um, you know, to be able to play with a team like Coastal. And I think uh, you know, in the end of the game, uh, Darren Coastal will, will be in the game. Obviously, they moved the ball on you guys a little bit in the second half, but you came up with the interception. You guys said uh, interception from DJ made the big plays when you had to. Yeah, so that was our thing. We just we, when we face adversity, our thing was just you know just bar next, just keep playing. Our coaches put us in great position to make the plays. We just had to come up and make them. Uh, you guys have had a lot of sacks this season. We're kind of struggling getting to them. Did you make any adjustments to make those couple of plays? No, we didn't make any adjustments. Our coaches, just, like I said, put us in great position. It was just up to us as players just to go out there and execute. And I feel like later in the second half, we did that. How about the confidence you guys have now with, with all the wins you've had this season that you're going to make those plays? Yeah, we, we're really confident, but we also we, we got to realize that nobody's going to lay down for us, so we got to come out every day and come out every practice and practice to the best of our ability and put it together on Saturdays and play the best that we can. Pretty exciting game next Saturday, I guess, for you guys to go and get top five Coastal. Yes, sir. It's very exciting. We're going to practice really hard. You know, we, we, uh, we see what they're doing this year, and they're having a great season, but we're not going to lay down. We're, we're going to give them our best fight. We're looking forward to it. Uh, they kind of twice came with scores there, and you guys came back with answers, and that's kind of what you've done all year. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, the first half, I think, was a, a slugfest there. The wind played some havoc with us, fortunate to get that turnover and go up 14-3, to three and felt like we were in a good position. They came out uh, really firing in their second half, and we were able to answer, keep the lead, and then there in the fourth quarter, uh, those two turnovers our defense uh, got were huge, and then uh, Dante Sumner making an unbelievable catch there on that to give us, uh, you know, three points and put them out of reach. So, uh Sometimes it's not pretty, but uh, you know when you win a win, you're two and zero, nine and one. You love them all. Christian goes over a thousand on that touchdown. He guys, I think, almost 300 yards rushing, held the ball for 37 minutes, and that's kind of what you do offensively. Yeah, you know that's what we uh, that's our plan. Try to let our defense play as fast as they can and rest them when we're, we've got the uh, you know the ball like that. It wasn't pretty at times. You know, I felt like we left some things out there, missed some plays, but. Um, our guys believe in what we do, and we find a way. Even when the wind's like this and different things, you know, we're able to make some plays happen. And uh, for us to be able to keep the ball like we did, uh, rush for what we did, it continues to give us confidence going forward. And uh, we've obviously got to handle our penalties or, or got to get better on penalties. And uh, I think you're seeing our young guys get uh, quarterbacks that's catching up to us a little bit with delays in games and some things. And uh, But we get better there and we go forward. And, and uh, there's no telling how good our team is. I, I, I don't doubt them. Obviously, you guys were focused on this one, but now you get to go back home, play against Coastal. Obviously, going to be a lot of buildup for that game. I guess just what's it like for, for these guys who haven't won a whole lot to have a week to get ready for a game like that? Well, I'm sure it'll be, uh, uh, you know, an exciting week. Uh, we try to 
every week you try to make every game's important. You know, it's like this game is just as important as next week. Kids are aren't naive, you know, they can look at schedules and rankings and all those things and sometimes you get up bigger for certain opponents. Uh, our guys will be thankful that we put ourselves in this position. Uh, it's still just the next one, and that's what we're going to tell them because it's no bigger. Because you still, uh, it's not like it's the last game of the year. You still got two more conference games after that one. So, uh, but it'll be big. I think there'll be great, uh, uh, you know, crowds there for their from their team and ours. So it should be an unbelievable environment, and and you want to play in those games when you go and play in college football. So uh, we're looking forward to it. Welcome back to the Jamie Chadwell Show, sponsored by Hendrick Toyota. Kevin O'Rourke alongside the head coach of the Bucks, CSU, gets sent for a big home game this Saturday against Coastal Carolina. One o'clock kickoff at Buccaneer Field. The Bucks up to number 16 in the country. Coastal comes in undefeated, 9-0, number three in the country. And certainly that week-to-week, -week, day by day approach is something you've stressed. But is it hard to do that this week? Well, um, our guys know it's a big game. Uh, there's everybody on campus and the community around around the state are telling how big it is. And so we've tried to embrace that. We still want them to know it's just the next one, which it is, and it's important um, because the the winner of this has the uh, lead uh, for conference you know going in but we still have with this one and two others so we got three games left so we're not going to make it as big as everybody else is but uh, we put ourselves in position to make it a big game and make it important and so we want our guys to understand that but continue to do the things that help us get here you know we don't have to play any better than what we did or do anything different because what we've done has been good enough and so uh, that's been our, our, our main point that we've been trying to make to our team all week. Coastal Carolina comes in at 9-0, number three in the country, top scoring offense in the country, and one of the better running backs in the nation in Lorenzo Talaferro in a big offensive line. Is this the best offense you've played this year? By far, including Colorado uh, because of uh, just the skill they have. Colorado had a really good receiver, and, and, and uh, Coastal's obviously got a great back and other good players. So they're very explosive. Uh, we're not going to you know, slow them down or, or, or stop them. They're going to score some points. What we've got to do is, is make them earn it because what they've done is they just get – points in a hurry and so we got to make them earn it and then we also have got to try to eliminate their possessions you know by us keeping the ball and scoring points and so huge challenge the best offense we've seen and, and they do a good job on defense with adjustments uh, especially in the second half they're doing a great job there they're really shutting people out in the second half after they might get some points in the first so best team that we you know bar none that we've seen all year and uh, we'll have to play well to give our chances give us a chance to be successful Saturday. Guys, get your sixth road win last week, a Big South record. Back home this week, supposed to be maybe a record crowd. That's got to be exciting for the guys. Yeah, uh, I think, you know, being back home, we've been on the road forever. And uh, to be playing in front of home crowd, which our home crowds have been great, and this one will be even better because of the buildup of the game. Just to, just to know that what you've worked for, uh, what the guys have sacrificed to get to this point, to know you can do it at home in front of a crowd that's going to be for you. Hopefully everybody's for us, you know. And uh, I, I think that's something our guys are – uh, invigorated by because that's something they wanted to happen and wanted to have a big game here in Charleston and um, it's good to have it at home because it's a it's a unique place to play you know when you come in here it's a different environment I think uh, it, it's uh, it's so much different from other places in the league so I think that'll be good for us and hopefully that uh, the crowd will give us that extra jolt that we need. So Charleston Southern will go for their program record 10th win and first place in the Big South Conference this Saturday one o'clock kickoff at Buccaneer Field if you can't make it out you can watch it and listen to it on csusports.com. For Jamie Chadwell, my name is Kevin O'Rourke. Thanks for watching the Jamie Chadwell Show, sponsored by Hendrick Toyota.